go. Okay, first of all, it's a big schuss for me to begin my involvement in this wonderful organization called Or Hadassa, that's run by my Yedidi, my dear family, Katla. And Metz uh, I'm really hoping to become more involved and to get in contact personally with those involved. And this is just an introductory uh, talk, just to get to know a bit of chizuk before Shavuos, a Yom Tif, a short, difficult a Yom Tif without, you know, without the father, the husband at home. I can imagine how difficult it is. I just wanted to you know, share a few words to you about the Indian of Emunah and about the idea of what Emunah really means for a widow. And who are you? Who am I? I'm Shmuel Zoka, I'm a simple Jew. Um, the Indian of Emunah is very, very related to this idea of Chaim, of life, of everlasting life. There's one thing I want you all to know, and that is that you are not without your husbands anymore. Chas We believe emuna, real faith, is based on the faith of hisharuta nefesh, of that your husbands are still with you, and your husbands are still involved in your life and heavily involved in your lives. I mean, whenever we talk about emuna, the ikar emuna that we talk about is the emuna in tchias hamesim is the emuna that there is life, life is nitzchi, is eternal, life is continuous. You know, when we, when we talk about emuna, we talk about vayaminu v'ashem of a Moshe avdoi. And then we begin, oz yoshe Moshe, and Rashi says, yoshe in the future, we can remez l'tchias ha-meisim in In other words, emuna, like the Pasuk says in Eicha, chadoshim labkarem rabu emuna secha. Emuna is based on the idea is that there's going to be a new boiker, there's going to be a new morning, there's going to be, and there's so many stories, which is not now the time, but there's so many stories of widows seeing and actually literally seeing their husband's involvement in the life and in the chinuch of the children and setting that path and continuing that path. I know a lot of stories like that. A person that leaves, a, a parent that leaves children, leaves a widow, is completely involved. And not only is he involved, he is pulling strings up there in a place where he couldn't be. And the Zoya and others for him say that when a Shama goes up to Shamaim, in a way he's even more involved because he sees everything. When somebody is down here, he can only see through the eyes of a body. But the Koach to see is not in the eyes, it's a Koach and a Shama. And that Koach and Shama, when it's not bound, by the boundaries and borders of seeing through the physical body, it sees all the time. And your husbands are watching you and seeing over you and watching over you and protecting you and protecting the children all the time. And therefore, when you continue, you continue the path that he wanted to set, that he set, is he's there with you and he's holding you and he's holding the children as well. And this is the basis of emuna in all faith. Faith in everything is all based on the faith of Hishar Sanefesh, that life continues and the Tchis Amesim. And therefore, especially important is a Shabbos to, con- to continue singing his Nigunim, his Shalom Aleichem, his type of Divrei Torah, and continue, continue. The life continues and it continues in his presence. We don't see his presence, but this is the basis of Emuna that he is with you all the time. And you can actually close your eyes and you can talk to him. When you close your eyes, when your kids are asleep, you can actually talk to him and he's listening to you. And Be'ez HaShem, we all know now that Mashiach is so close. Everything, all the simonim, which again is not the time now, but all the signs show that Mashiach is so close. And the big tzaddikim said that, even though it's brought down in Chazal, that Tchais HaMesim is going to take place a lot after Mashiach comes, only the big tzaddikim will rise when Mashiach comes, but the masses of Jews will rise a lot later. Since the Holocaust, after the Holocaust, the big tzaddikim said that when Mashiach comes, Tchais HaMesim for all Am Yisrael is going to happen simultaneously and instantly. So it's very clear that you're all going to be the core of reunited with your husbands. And they're going to thank you for taking over their job when they weren't here physically. But they're with you and Hashem should send you constant, constant chizuk and koyach and always, always know that Hashem is with you all and your husbands are with you all.
and the Mitzvah Shem, you should all have a lot of Hatzlacha, the Simcha, and a lot of Yiddish Nachas, and your home should continue, your home should continue on the basis of what you and your husbands built, Be'ez HaShem, in the Chinuch of the children, and in the Shabbos, you know, the Shabbos mustn't be depressing, Shabbos must be Simchadik, you should buy the choices of food, and buy the choices of Nash for the children, and when you come home, there should be a Simcha in the house, and singing Leib the Gunim, and you know, if you have time, and you can listen to a, a Dvar Torah or something, and share the Dvar Torah, share the Pasha, make it into a real, real, real Shabbos table. Shabbos is the most important. It's better sometimes to give up on a few things that you would do with them during the week, just that when Shabbos comes in, it should be a real Shabbos, because Shabbos impacts the whole week. And the same goes for Yom Tif. So you should all have a wonderful Shabbos and a wonderful Yom Tif, and I'm looking forward to getting, becoming more involved in this wonderful organization, Aradasa.